Dude, it's on. Got him. Got him. Oh. <laughs> What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. In honor of our new podcast, Aggressively Average Anglers, popping off in uh, on the start date, I'm out here doing what we propose to do for the show. What we're going to do is I'm going to be using a technique I never use. It's a technique I know works for everyone all around the country. And it's just something that uh, I guess I've been too chicken to, you know, break with my confidence baits to try. I want to make it a confidence bait. And that is the whole point of this new podcast that we're doing, you guys. We're going to be trying new techniques, new baits, and different things like that that we normally wouldn't be grabbing for. Uh, and we want to make everything a confidence bait. I want to feel good about fishing everything in my tackle collection and catching fish on it, obviously. And you guys can come along with us for the journey to learn about this as well. So today I'm going to be messing around with flukes. We're going weightless today specifically. Weightless techniques is definitely not like a go-to for me by any means. I'm usually throwing weight on there, I'm power fishing, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to fish weightless. We're going to fish the fluke, which is another bait. It's, it's a type of plastic that I have a ton of and I just never use. So check this out. We got the basics right here. The Zoom Salty Super Fluke in Disco. I actually got this from Justin Royal a long time ago and I haven't even touched the bag. It's completely full. Not a single one has been used. So I've got those to try out. We've got uh, one of Paul's go-to that he suggested for me, which is white ice. And then we've got a new bait I've never used, which is the vile minnow. So I'm gonna be testing that out. It's a bio spawn lure. Um, all with like some nice bright flashiness. We got pretty clear water out here on the main portion of the lake. So I'm thinking those are gonna do well. And then we have obviously just bright, bright sunshine today. Uh, it's pretty hot too. Fishing has been a weird bite. Uh, it's been slow. Drop shot is pretty much the only thing I was able to get working early on today. Um, so I'm switching up to this because I want to learn this technique. I want to master this technique one day. You know, I want to be good at it. And I figure if it's good enough for Fluke Master, uh, it's good enough for all of us. We should be using this. Uh, if you guys haven't used this technique, you don't feel good about fishing a Fluke, especially weightless, come along with me. Let's figure it out together. That's kind of the fun part about this community. And if you like the idea of this, be sure to subscribe, smash like, ring that notification bell, come back for more vids like this, as well as the new podcast dropping in a couple weeks. All right, let's get after it. Yep, there it is. We're fluking. We're fluking today. Today is time to learn a new technique for me. Look at that. Fluke right off the bat, dude. Oh, man. First cast fluke. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, pal. Whew. I'm digging that. All right. If I'm being absolutely 100% honest with you guys, I think that is my first catch on a weightless fluke. And hey, welcome to the new channel. <laughs> that was heckin' cool. That was almost as good as a frog bite. Savage in shallow water. It's got it rigged 100% weedless right now. And it looks terrible because it's my first time doing it. I think I ran it up too far, but you get the idea. You can just cover up all of the hook so there's nothing to get hung up on. It's going to slip and slide through all this junk. And uh, we've definitely, in the heat, Got these bass pushing up shallow. So I'm looking for shallow shade for a minute. This will do well around docks and things like that. And again, like reserve your judgment, all right? There's probably techniques you haven't tried that you know work. And I know flukes obviously work. That said, it's just not like a go-to for me. It's not something I've just grabbed over anything else, you know? There's so many things you can throw, but that was sweet and I wanna do that again. Should try the new fluke? Try this guy. Interesting looking guy. Pretty plush. Pretty good looking. Let's see if we can get any bites on it. Dude, mm, had another bite. Gosh dang. No rebuttal. Got him. Got him. Yup. 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 There we freaking go, dude. There we go, buddy. We'll see ya. <laughs> there was a rebuttal. I pooped all over me. Pads. 
flukes all day, every day. Look at this, new technique learned, huzzah. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? Like our whole goal is to try all these new things out. Now, I'm gonna have to change this fluke in a second. Not very durable. I should probably introduce what fluke I've been using too. So, main two today, salty super flukes, and then I got this vile minnow. Uh, this thing's been getting smacked the last 10, 15 minutes here. So I'm gonna keep fishing this one for now. And then this one got smacked early on today, but either one of these should do good today. So we'll come back to those later. For now, that was awesome. I wanna do it again. Imagine, weedless jerk baits. Weird. This now makes me wanna fish that donkey rig too. Gilly's on it even. Stupid sit inside piece of garbage. Trash kayak, real kayak in disguise. All right, so that one's dead. They, they're not very durable. That's the only problem. Let's uh, let's try and go with the flashiness. Let's try the disco real quick. I feel like these zooms are a bit more durable than those vials. So rigging wise, not that I know what I'm doing because this is new to me. What I've been doing is this. Just rig it kind of deep. Oh yeah, it's definitely denser plastic. So kind of a big in-depth hook there. And then I run the fluke all the way up over the eye and the knot. That way I'm like super weedless. And then I just T-rig it back here. Texpose, whatever you want to call it. Bury that hook point. There we go. Super straight, super weedless, very flashy. Ooh, that is, in case it's a flash from those vile minnows that's been working. Let's try this. So we're coming up on a, definitely like a fluke heavy area. Um, it kind of cuts back, splits from the main lake and there's a nice flat right over here. Uh, luckily I know this lake decently well because I don't have my sonar. So I'm not just guessing here. I actually have fished this, mapped this. Good idea of what's going on. Let's see if they like this disco as much as they like that vile minnow. Same kind of flash, same color even. Let's try it pads again. Nice thing is you can just bomb this thing out there. I think that is not a fish. I'm pretty sure that's just grass. It's a fish, holy cow. <laughs> oh no, 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 oh, yes. Wow, he was in there. He was way up in there. So confirmation, it's the flash. Not the flash point, not Ezra Miller, but it's this flash. Disco deep in the slot, baby. Look at this. I did not, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys right now. I did not expect fluke fishing to be any fun at all. I've been looking at this completely the wrong way. And to all my fluke friends out there, I apologize. But I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like what if all these techniques you're avoiding are actually super fun and you just don't know? because you just don't use them. You don't employ this technique as often as you should. And what I'm finding today is that they're definitely up shallow, confirmed by all catches today. They're definitely in this slop, which unfortunately I drifted over this section, so I'll have to come back here later, but it's really hard to frog fish in a setup like this, so I'm not going to. You know, I'd rather be standing if I was gonna do that. It's so facto, this is kind of like a perfect fluking time. It's hot, water temps are up, you know? A little more lethargic. So if you can't use a jerk bait, you use a soft one. By golly, I'm a learning boy. You can teach this old dog new tricks, okay? That's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna get stuck in my ways anymore because this is fun. Holy cow. These things, the darting action on this is so cool. Oh yeah, dude, it's on. It's freaking on. It is free. And on. Yes, another one, and another one. <laughs> and uh, props to zoom durability. Gosh dang! Here, let's go try this padded point section here. Tons and tons of pads and slop back there. Let's just try this real quick. Got him. 
surf bass. Freaking choked it. Ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. I am in love with fluke fishing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no. He had it. One zipped out from the pads there and had it. Fail. Should let him eat it a little longer. Again, just learning this technique. So, by the way, I should mention what makes this even more fun is when you guys drop notes in the comments below. If you guys know anybody who's like really good at weightless fluke fishing, love for you to like drop a link for them in the comments below. Uh, just name their channel. And if you guys got any tips, what you do that works really well for you, let me know. Let's get gooder. Let's get way less badder together. They're like out in that middle or deep around. Got him. Oh no. No, bro. Did not. In fact, did not got him. Got him. There we go. <laughs> Dude. Oh, it doesn't matter the size. We're getting the job done. There we go. Noise. Got him. Got him. Where is he? Take it, dude. Got him. Yep. Saw him. Saw it all go down, baby. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, ow. Nut slap. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Another decent. Again, for this water. Boop. Oh my God, come on. Oh my God, I still had him. Ah. Somehow on so much slack line. Gosh dang it. Well, there's a mistake you don't wanna make. So, because it's weightless, it's a little bit tougher to keep that taut line once it submerges a little bit. I got this on fluorocarbon, of course, because I want that to be finessey, invisible kind of technique. Uh, problem, <laughs> tried to set the hook and I had, I had to like throw myself out of the boat essentially to get that one. Shoot. Okay. Lesson learned, do again. Oh. <laughs> Oh god. I should probably get this out of my way. Oh, he got the tail. Shoot. Alright, well, that minnow is dead. Oh man. Come on. There we go. Got one. Finally. Oh, it's been a minute on the fluke. There we go. I knew they were back here, dude. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Got him. Got him. Not losing this one. Yeah, bud. There we go. Turn it. Come here, buddy. There we go. Nice fish. That is probably fish of the day. With a salad to boot. Decent. There we go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they're eating it. Great. Got him. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, Afish. Gotcha. Later, buddy. Got him. Oh, dude, on the drop. Oh, little guy. On the drop. Whoop, there we go. Bite. Love it when a pattern doesn't change much. Even though I overthink it. Classic. 
Yeah, we're good. Okay, moving. No, I'm not keeping this salad. Got him. Oh, sorry, bud. Oh my gosh. That was bad. There you go. I can still do it. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That was cool. That was really cool. Zero foot, zero water. Oh, a little flippy too. Come on now. How about that one? Surf bass. Little guys, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got, I got the luck on my hands, I guess. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, bye. All right, you guys, that is a wrap for today. So the stars of the day were the flukes, fluky flukes. Uh, we had a lot of success with that disco color from Justin Royal, so thanks to Justin Royal for that. We had a lot of success with the vile minnow, except that, oh no, now there's like none left. Uh, they weren't that durable. They definitely caught fish though, and they had a stellar action. I really like the action of them actually. Action, actually. And then we caught a few on the white ice uh, as expected. But yeah, that disco, <laughs> disco was the jam. It seemed like when the cloud cover came out, I threw that darker color and I had better success. So it was really just bait caster, five aught hook, and then throw in these flukes. Then I varied it up depending on the area I was fishing in the cloud cover. So that tended to work really well. I mean, I think end of the day, we probably boated about 25, 30 fish, six or seven of them on drop shots. The rest were all on fluke, which was cool. Set out here to test out a new technique. I'd say success. I feel pretty comfortable with it, pretty confident with it. I like how I was rigging it. It was working where I was fishing it. And again, like I said, this is for our new podcast, Aggressively Average Anglers. If you guys are doing similar things to this or you like the concept of this go check out the podcast it drops in a few weeks uh, be sure to subscribe share it around give us a five-star review we're doing a massive giveaway on the first episode you guys will not want to miss that probably going to be a six to seven hundred dollar value giveaway so pretty huge pretty awesome should be a lot of fun on that first episode and i'd say concept of you know what we're what we're thinking about doing for this podcast success as well because i had a lot of fun doing that even though it's something i'm not comfortable with uh stepping outside the comfort zone and landing some fish, feeling more confident with it. That's what it's all about. If you guys like the video, of course, be sure to subscribe, smash that like, and ring that notification bell so you can see when we do more stuff like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Get out there and try some new stuff.